Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between tropic and trophic hormones, and I'll give you a few examples. Uh, so tropic hormones are hormones that act on an endocrine gland or some kind of endocrine tissue somewhere in the body to cause it to secrete another hormone. So a tropic hormone is a hormone that causes the release of another hormone somewhere else in the body. A trophic hormone is any hormone that stimulates growth in the target tissues. Okay, so these terms are very similar, uh, but they mean two entirely different things. Uh, it's really confusing because in a lot of places, you'll see these terms used interchangeably to describe the same hormones, uh, but that doesn't mean that these terms mean the same thing. Uh, it just means that some hormones are both tropic and trophic. So a hormone can be tropic, trophic, both, or neither. So I'm going to give you an example of each of those scenarios. Um, so thyroid stimulating hormone is both tropic and trophic. So it's tropic because it stimulates the thyroid gland to release thyroid hormone, but it's also trophic because it stimulates growth of the thyroid itself. So most of the tropic hormones in the body are also trophic, which is why you commonly will see most tropic hormones also referred to as trophic. It's because most tropic hormones are both, but that's not always the case. So we'll get to that example in a minute. Uh, prolactin is an example of a hormone that is not tropic. It doesn't stimulate the release of another hormone, but it is trophic because it stimulates growth and development of breast tissue and the mammary glands. Gonadotropin releasing hormone is an example of a hormone that is tropic but not trophic. So it's tropic because it stimulates release of FSH and LH, uh, but it's not trophic because it doesn't directly stimulate growth and development. Now I said it that way because it does stimulate growth and development in the sense that it uh, stimulates release of FSH and LH, which both stimulate growth and development. Uh, but gonadotropin releasing hormone itself does not directly stimulate growth and development, therefore it is not trophic. It's tropic because it causes release of FSH and LH and those hormones are both trophic. Uh, cortisol is an example of a hormone that is neither. It is not tropic or trophic. It has entirely different functions in the body. It doesn't cause the uh, release of any other hormone, so it's not tropic. And it's not trophic because it also doesn't stimulate growth and development. So there are lots of hormones in that category of hormones that are not tropic or trophic, uh, hormones that are just out there doing their job and are not directly interacting with other hormones or causing growth and development. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned something.